this tutorial I'm going to go over some syntax of our syntax we're going to go over is of um or we're also going to go over and and a, um an ampersand so let's first we're going to run the ping command ping command you may have seen this before ping google.com it pings google.com gets some replies and then shows us some information and stuff like that so what we're going to do we're going to say ping google.com and then what we're going to do we're going to use the and and you may wonder what does the and and do when you put and and after a command you're saying we're going to execute another command if the first command was successful so if i successfully pinged google.com whatever command i put after these two and ands will um... be there um... so i say echo hi or echo it was successful don't know if that's how you spell successful so now look, i run this it says it was successful after it pings everything now if i run this command IP config slash release it's going to disconnect me from the internet and how can it possibly ping google.com if it's not connected to the internet so what's going to happen is it's going to say ping request cannot find host blah 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 and it's not going to execute this echo it was successful command that's not going to happen because it wasn't successful but let's show me let me show you or double like that that's an or so when I run or it's going to say it was successful because what or does or says run this one or this one it says if this one is not successful then run the second command but if it is successful it won't, won't run the second command and so the difference between ands and ors ands will run the second command if the first is successful ors will not run or ors will only run the second command if the first was unsuccessful now you also have a single and the single and runs both commands no matter what so no matter what whether successful or not the single ampersand will run both of them no matter what and you can do more than just one. I can say like echo hi and whoops and echo bob and echo toast. And it's gonna say hi bob toast. Um anytime you put a command or an and sign you can put an add another command onto that line. So that's it for this tutorial. Um just showing you these. Um, I, I'm also going to show, let me show you pipes really quick. Um, let me go ahead and connect to the internet again. IP config slash renew. CD desk or I'm on my desktop. Watch if I say Dell star. See how it asks for user input. Y or N. Let's say you type an N. Well, what pipes do? is they take the output of one command and send it to the input of another command so you know echo y the output is y so if we say echo y and use a single bracket which is like this echo y single bracket del star what that will do del star is it will see it sends the output which is a y as you can see right there to the input of this command so it asks for input and it's going to type in Y and so that kind of force deletes everything I can just save my file and get it back but this one also shows it see that one deleted everything force deleted it all now another, uh, one way this is used a lot is let's say find or let's type hello dot that. The type command lists all the text in the file. See, so type hello.bat. Now, 
do you also have a find command and you say like find Bob and now it's going to let me type in a whole bunch of strings and if any of them contains Bob it's going to send the string back to me so what you can do you could type hello.bat the output of this command is the text of my file and pipe it to the input of find find app and as you can see it will only list the line that says app which is title app or I can say let's say se it's only going to let list Paul's because that's the only line of output that has an se in it or I could type in something like um let's say I type in echo yo save that now let's say I put an O now whoops see if I search a P it's gonna return two lines title app and Paul's because both of those have a P or if I say echo it's gonna return both lines with an echo add echo off and echo yo so that's it for just this tutorial on um Syntax. This is not all the syntax, just a lot of it. Um, a lot of the stuff you really need to understand because it is used in more complex programming. And another thing, like I said, is anything in these two brackets, all your, your batch kind of sees this all as one line. So if I say echo hi, echo bob, echo yo. It's going to see hi Bob and yo is one line because they're all in the brackets. So if we run this, it's going to say hi Bob yo. All as one line. Now if I run it in here, see if you type in the name of your file in the console or run it in the console. Hi Bob yo. And that's it for this tutorial. Um, this just showed you, you know, brackets, these, sync, um, ors, types, ands, and little those. And that's just it for this tutorial.